Hey, what's up everyone? I wanted to make a video about something very personal. And just want people to understand that it's okay to choose you. I've been going through some things for the past few months, seven months to be exact. I decided to finally leave my family alone. Not all my family, but mainly my mother and my older sister. Because I was being taken advantage of being disrespected, being gaslighted, being manipulated, everything. I left them alone. And people can say what they want. Like family is all you got. But my family consists of the people that look out for me, that care about my well-being, see if I need anything, just want to chop it up. You know, just supportive. And it's not easy running a business. It's not easy being a black man, a young black man running a business, period. <laughs> so when you doing all this stuff, these great things, you would think people would be happy for you. Your people would be happy for you. But in retrospect, they're not. And I've just been, you know, trying to heal from childhood traumas and childhood demons, things that I exhibited, so I could become a better person. Because I don't have any kids yet, I don't have a wife yet, but I'm acting like I do. So I've been seeking counseling, talking to my life coach, been reading. I've been sober so I can have my head together. And I've just been on the right path. So yesterday my mother called me while I was at work and asked me how I've been and this and that after seven months of not speaking to me. And I just had told her like I'm good and what's up? So she wanted to know why I decided to leave the family. And I just had told her I just had to go before I went crazy. She was like, why you was gonna go crazy? I was like, because y'all don't respect me. Nobody's kids anymore. I should have to tell adults how to conduct themselves and how to behave in my presence or in, while I'm in their presence. And it's not fair, you know, it's not, something that you should do but it happens you have to be a parent to your parent at times and because they they because they gave you life and that they could just talk to you and treat you any kind of way but i'm not having it that's just the new me now because i'm 35 years old I'm not saying that I was perfect, but I ain't never got the house shot up. I never had a big debt with no notorious drug lord or drug dealer. And, <laughs> you know, I went to school, graduated, went to college a little bit. I've been working at my job for 14 years. Run my own business. Taxpayer. I'm out doing great things and it like how come I get treated like I'm a 
outcast, like I'm a problem, like I'm a inconvenience. And there's a lot of black parents, man, feel like that they done being a parent after you turn 18. And it don't work like that. When you a parent, you a parent until you die or your child dies, depending on how many children you have. But at the end of the day, you still have responsibilities to the children that you brought into the world. And people can say what they want, like, oh, you don't have any kids, you don't understand, but when your child, son or daughter, no matter how old they are, is crying out to you and asking you to take some responsibility, to take some accountability for how you treated them, you don't neglect, you don't ref defect, you don't try to play victim. You listen to what your child or your children has to say. Because at the end of the day, those going to be the people that's going to have your back when you can't do anything for yourself. That's why they call it a domino effect. Because when we born, you take care of us. When you get old, we take care of you. And you don't want to die alone. That's the worst fate of any human being is dying alone, dying in a nursing home or something like that because you was toxic or you was narcissistic or you was playing evil and conniving and vindictive. Play favorites, you know what I'm saying? And this goes on a lot in the black community. This is why we can't get ahead because it starts within the home and then it goes into the streets because people don't want to be held accountable and as a man I get held accountable every day so when it comes to holding your parent accountable people say oh you disrespectful you can't do that or you can't say that and I would say us the new um generation we're not playing with that shit no more you know what i'm saying we're not going to just let people just walk all over us because i'm not letting people walk over me anymore especially when i'm a good dude i'm doing all i can i'm doing the best i can i had to raise myself i had to teach myself how to be a motherfucking man and i'm a good man Nobody's perfect, but I respect people who's trying, trying to be considerate, trying to be understanding, and, and just have the notion of maybe I was wrong in this department, but my intentions was good. I can understand how he or she feels. And just because it happened to you doesn't mean it's right. It's justified. You know what I'm saying? Because if anything, you remember how you felt. Don't be passing your traumas onto your children. Because it's not fair. Because we didn't exist. None of us asked to be here. All of us will have preferred a perfect childhood, but it's no such thing. And she's a good woman. Don't get me wrong. My mama, I love my mama to death. That's why I'm making this video because it just seems like no one understands my frustrations. And a lot of us go crazy and a lot of us lose our fucking mind because we feel like, damn, no matter what I do, it's never good enough. It's never going to be good enough. So I decided to tell her all of that yesterday. I made her listen to me. But again, I love my mom, but something has to change. Something has to give. Because either you're going to make an effort to change, or you will never see me again. Please believe that. But all right, guys, I'm out. Comment, 
like, subscribe to the channel. Peace.